In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Peace be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. You were sent to heal the contrite, Lord of mercy. Lord of mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ of mercy. Christ of mercy. You plead for us at the right hand of the Father. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Today is the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. O God, creator of all things, who laid down for the human race the law of work, Graciously grant by the example of St. Joseph, and under his patronage, we may complete the works you set for us to do, and attain the rewards you promise, through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. On the following Sabbath, Almost the whole city gathered to hear the word of the Lord. When the Jews saw the crowds, they were filled with jealousy and with violent abuse contradicted what Paul said. Both Paul and Barnabas spoke out boldly and said, It was necessary that the word of God be spoken to you first, but since you reject it and condemn yourselves as unworthy of eternal life, we now turn to the Gentiles. For so the Lord has commanded us, I have made you a light to the Gentiles, that you may be an instrument of salvation to the ends of the earth. The Gentiles were delighted when they heard this and glorified the word of the Lord. All who were destined for eternal life came to believe, and the word of the Lord continued to spread through the whole region. The Jews, however, incited the women of prominence who were worshippers and the leading men in the city, stirred up a persecution against Paul and Barnabas and expelled them from their territory. So they shook the dust from their feet in protest against them and went to Iconium. The disciples were filled with joy and the Holy Spirit. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Sing to the Lord a new song, for he has done wondrous deeds. His right hand has won victory for him, his holy arm. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. The Lord has made his salvation known. In the sight of the nations he has revealed his justice. He has remembered his kindness and his faithfulness toward the house of Israel. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. All the ends of the earth have seen the salvation by our God. Sing joyfully to the Lord, all you lands, break into song, sing praise. All the ends of the earth have seen the saving power of God. Alleluia. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. If you remain in my word, you will truly be my disciples, and you will know the truth, says the Lord. Alleluia, Alleluia, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, If you know me, then you will also know my Father. From now on you do know him and have seen him. Philip said to Jesus, Master, show us the Father. That will be enough for us. Jesus said to him, have I been with you for so long a time, and you still do not know me, Philip? Whoever has seen me has seen the Father. How can you say, show us the Father? Did you not believe that I am in the Father, and the Father is in me? The words that I speak, 
to you. I do not speak on my own. The Father who dwells in me is doing the works. Believe me that I am in the Father and the Father is in me, or else believe because of the works themselves. Amen, amen, I say to you, whoever believes in me will do the works that I do and will do greater ones than these because I am going to the Father. And whatever you ask in my name, I will do, so that the Father may be glorified in the Son. If you ask anything of me in my name, I will do it. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. My dear friends, today we end our fourth week of our Easter pilgrimage toward Pentecost. And, of course, our chronicle and companion, the Acts of the Apostles, presents us with the story of Paul and Barnabas concluding their visit to Antioch before they move on to other places. The Gospel today has Jesus in dialogue with Philip, and Jesus is emphasizing to Philip the unity between himself and the Father. But as this week ends, we begin a new month. This is the month of May. And the first day of May is the feast of St. Joseph the Worker. And on this feast, the church focuses on and emphasizes the dignity of honest labor and, of course, the importance of respecting the dignity of those who do labor honestly for their keep, for their livelihood. This is also the year of St. Joseph. And we have in our diocese a parish of St. Joseph, although I must point out that the feast, the patron feast of the parish is not St. Joseph the worker, but St. Joseph the spouse of the Blessed Mother, which falls on the 19th of March. On this day, it is also appropriate to bless tools and other implements of work, expressing the Church's desire that we understand and we fully appreciate the dignity of honest labor and how honest those who labor honestly should be granted the dignity deserving them and also the proper remuneration deserving them as well. But also how work, our work glorifies the Lord and, and our work is really meant to be a means by which we achieve sanctity as well. My friends, May is also Mary's month, and this May, beginning today, the Holy Father, Pope Francis, has asked us to join in with other Catholics all around the world, to join in praying the rosary for the end of the current pandemic. Very briefly, I'll share with you a part of the press release that came from the Pontifical Council for the new evangelization, which made the announcement. It says this, it says that at the heart of the Holy Father's desire, the month of May will be dedicated to a marathon of prayer to invoke the end of the pandemic, which has aff affected the world for more than a year now, and to pray for the resumption of social and work activities. Pope Francis wanted to invoke all the shrines of the world in this initiative so that they become instruments for a prayer of the whole church. And this initiative takes place in light of that biblical expression from the Acts of the Apostles, chapter 12, verse 5, where it says, Prayer to God went up in, un, incessantly, incessantly from the whole church. So all the Marian shrines around the world are really engaged now in this exercise of um, praying for the end, praying the rosary for the end of this current pandemic and for the benefit of all the various members of our population who have been affected one way or another by the pandemic. In this age of digital technology, there are ways in which we can join each day in this prayer, because beginning today, the Holy Father will lead the opening of the rosary, and on the 31st of the month, he'll conclude it 
But each day throughout the month at one of the Marian shrines around the world, there will be the rosary prayed for the end of the pandemic. And certainly those of us who are nimble with the digital technology will be able to follow that. So let us also join in our own private prayer with the, the faithful around the world to follow the intention of the Holy Father in praying the rosary this month. May is the month of Mary, is the month of the rosary. Let us pray our rosary this month. Our intention being the end of this current pandemic, which has afflicted, afflicted us now for more than more than a year. Our live stream mass for tomorrow will come from Resurrection Parish with Father Pascal. Dear friends, let us put ourselves together in prayer now on this, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker. Let us ask the Lord to hear our prayers as we pray for all our needs. We pray first of all for the church throughout the world that during this month of May we may indeed join in hearts and minds in prayer for the sincere end to this current pandemic. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Francis, our Pope, that he may continue to lead us after the manner of Christ, the Good Shepherd. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray on this, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, for all those who engage in honest labor. Whatever the nature of that labor may be, that the Lord may always give them a sense of hope, and that they may always be respected for the work that they do. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray again for our nation as we continue the exercise of vaccination against the COVID-19 virus. That this exercise may be a success. For this we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all those who are ill, that the Lord may grant them healing and comfort. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. And in silence, let us put before the Lord whatever needs weigh most heavily upon our hearts this day. all these things we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayers. Good and gracious God, hear our prayers, grant our needs, keep us graceful to you, and may St. Joseph the worker always be our guide, our model, our patron, as we face whatever labor it is we must accomplish. For your good and glory and for our sanctification, we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands that have become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands that have become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, font of all mercy, look upon our offerings which we bring before your majesty in commemorating St. Joseph, and mercifully grant that this, the gifts we offer may become the means of perfection for those who call upon you through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your heart. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. And on the commemoration of St. Joseph, to give you fitting praise, to glorify you and to bless you. For this just man was given by you as spouse the Virgin Mother of our, of our God, and sent as a wise and faithful servant in charge of your household to watch like a father over your only begotten Son, who was conceived by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, our Lord Jesus Christ. Through him the angels praise your majesty. Dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. 
You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, he broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sin. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. This bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that, partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, with me, your unworthy servant, the Order of Bishops, all the clergy, and your entire faithful people. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, your Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, the blessed apostles and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, and graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. friends, on this, the Feast of St. Joseph the Worker, we make our act of spiritual communion for the benefit of all those who are joining us by social media are unable to receive the Eucharist physically. My Jesus, I believe that you are really present in the Blessed Sacrament. I love you above all things, and I hunger to receive you. Since I cannot receive communion at this moment, feed my soul at least spiritually, I unite myself wholly to you now as I do when I actually receive you. Permit me never to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray, having fed, having fed upon heavenly delights, we humbly ask you, O Lord, that by St. Joseph's example, cherishing in our hearts the sign of your love, we may ever enjoy the fruit 
perpetual peace through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now and forever. Our help is in the name of the Lord. Who may in heaven and earth. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God. I wish you a wonderful day. Remember, be safe, and you know what that means. Practice the safety protocols, social distancing in crowds, face masks in public, and frequent washing and sanitizing of hands. God bless you.